Hello friends, in this tutorial I just want to share with you an assignment tracker that is already pre-built in Google Sheets. You will find it underneath the templates. So before I show you where to find it, I just want to go through it and show you how it works. Up here on the left, they have it named Assignment Tracker. You can click in here and personalize that as you want. Over here on the right, they've got some directions for you, and they're referring to these sheets down here. And the first one says, click the Subject Sheet tab and add subjects or courses to the list. So what I want to show you is that this tab right here for subjects, it's got Math, Biology, Geography, Physics, Biomed, Engineering. If I want to change math to be my math, maybe I'm taking Calculus, okay? So I can change it right there. I can also add if I am taking, um, uh, maybe if I'm taking Advanced Art, Art 4, I can add that to the list. Now, when I click over here in Assignments, if I click on this drop-down arrow on the left, you can see that Art 4, Engineering, and Biomed, all of these are in the list, okay? So if I go back over here to Subjects, I can erase Art 4 because maybe I didn't like it and I decided to drop it. Now when I go back to Assignments and I click on it, Art 4 is no longer in here. So this column is directly linked to this uh, tab. All right. Now, here is where the um, student would list the assignment. And then over here, you've got the status. This is a different type of data validation. And the options are done, not started, in progress, and skipped. Now, if you want to um, personalize that or change it, you would have to either select the D, column D, or you can click and drag down as far as you can go. And then you have to go to data and data validation. And now this one is a list of items. So you can see here that it says not started, comma, in progress, comma, skipped, comma, done. If you want to erase one of these, like for example, skipped, I would erase it and the comma. And then over here, I might add needs approval. And when I save that, now when I go back to the top, now needs approval is there and the other one is not. Okay, so you can personalize these. Uh, we've got time, and that's the time that they think it's going to take, and the start date and when it's due. So you can personalize this, of course. You know, you can change time, you can change these. Um, but what's nice is that this is pre-made for you. So now what I want to do is show you where you could find this. So you're going to open up Sheets, and you're going to click on File, and you're going to go to New. And most people just click on New. They don't migrate over here to the right. So you're not going to choose Spreadsheet. You're going to choose From Template, okay? Hmm. 